The next time you invite your friends over for a get together, they will think you just graduated from one catering school. In this video, you will learn how to make the perfect patty fried rice enough for 20 people from scratch to finish. So sit back and relax, let's begin. Hello the joyful family, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making the Nigerian fried rice. So now let me introduce you to the ingredients. So to make this rice enough for 20 people, in here I have 3 ton sized ginger and a handful of garlic. For the marinade I have shallot and onion. The combination of shallots with fresh herbs like rosemary and thyme creates the perfect marinade for your meat. So yes, I'm going to be adding it. You know shallots are a bit sweeter. So in here I have frozen peas, it came in this pack, but if you can find fresh peas, by all means, please use fresh peas. In here I have sweet corn, over here I have 3 white onions and 4 bunch of scallions. Now I'm going to use some part of this scallion to cook the meat, while the rest of the scallion and onions I'll use to fry the veggies later. In here I have liver, this is cow liver and this one is very important, in fact very important. For the herbs I have fresh rosemary and thyme. Over here I have green peas and carrots that I have chopped up nicely. You guys, I am a sucker for fresh veggies when it comes to fried rice, period. In here I have three fresh yellow, red and green peppers, including one scotch bonnet pepper. You know, the peppers bring a lot of freshness to the dish, so I'm going to add in it. For the rice, I have 22 cups of the standard measuring cup of rice in this bowl. And this is the parboiled rice, so that's what I'm using for this. Of course, you will need chicken, that's where we get our stock from. The best part of chicken I like to use personally is called the heavy hen kind of chicken, followed by the hard chicken or garnilla. I also have corn oil, butter oregano this is dried oregano leaves i have spicy jalapeno pepper this one is spicy so you have to be careful when adding it i also have ground white pepper next i have dried basil leaves i have cloves i love to use clove to boil my meat i have um, curry powder and this brand is very good for fried rice i have goya all purpose seasoning you will also need salt and seasoning cubes i forgot to show you guys the seasoning cubes so the next thing you're going to do is to chop up the shallot, onion, garlic and ginger. Toss everything in a blender and blend until it is smooth. Time to cook. Let's start cooking. Now I'm going to pour the meat into the pot. I've washed the meat so the meat is clean. Pour it into the pot and then add in the fresh rosemary and thyme. I'll add in the blended marinade. Rinse it out with a bit of water and pour it in, just a tiny amount of water. Now I'll add in about 4 seasoning cubes, I'm using chicken seasoning cubes. I'll add in the spices one after the other. First I'll add in the jalapeno pepper, I added like 2 cups of that. I'll add another 2 cups of curry powder. I'll just sprinkle in some cloves. Add another 2 cups of the oregano. Add 2 cups of the white pepper. 2 cups of the basil leaves and sprinkle a good amount of the goya or purple seasoning. Toss everything together so everything is well mixed in and then cover it without adding water. This will help the meat to absorb all those ingredients before we now add a good amount of water for our stock. Now when you are doing this, make sure your heat is on very high heat so it can lock all the ingredients into the meat. So now I'm going to cover the pot and let it cook for about 10 minutes. So next I'm going to go ahead and boil the liver in a separate pot. This doesn't really need any seasoning but I just add a bit of um, goya and let it cook. Next I'll grate the garlic and ginger, set it aside because we're going to need that later. So you remember I had 3 tom sized ginger at the beginning, so I blended 2 with the onion and shallot, then I'm grating 1 with the garlic. I'm also going to slice the white onions I'm going to use to fry the veggies, set that aside. And then at this point, my chicken was almost burning because I wasted too much time. It made the stock to come out a bit darker, but don't worry, just stay with me, you'll see how beautiful it turned out at the end. So now you're going to add enough water to cook the meat completely and remember this water is going to serve as our stock for the fried rice. So add enough water that the meat is seasoned on its own already because of the way we cooked it on its own without adding water on high heat. So you're going to add enough water, taste for seasoning. Then I added a bit of um, spring onion to bring back some freshness. Sprinkle in a bit of salt, cover it and let it cook for another 15 to 20 minutes. At this point, the liver was already cooked. I'm going to now take it out and spread it on a baking sheet.
into another pot this is the pot i'm going to be using to cook the rice always sieve your fried rice stock that way your rice will come out cleaner so i sieve that you know take it out and let it boil next i'm going to wash the rice first i'll wash it with cold water you know rinse it out and then i'll add very hot water cover it and let it sit for like seven minutes So at this point the stock is boiling i'm going to add very little amount of curry powder not so much i'll add little amount and then i'll add in the washed rice so this is another important step when you're cooking fried rice the stock should be at the same level as the content in the pot so i'll stir that in nicely and then i'm going to add a bit of butter what the butter's job here is to give the rice a bit of shine by the time it is done so i'll slice in some butter cover it and let it cook for the first 10-15 minutes undisturbed At this point I went to check on the meat and it was nice and brown. I didn't let it dry out. I didn't let it brown for too long so it doesn't dry out. I grilled it for 15 minutes on 350 degrees Fahrenheit on each side. The liver is also ready. I'm going to chop it up nicely and set it aside. So after 15 minutes I'll check the rice for the first time and you can see there's still a bit of water under the pot which is perfect. Now I forgot to mention your gas should be on medium heat, not so low so it doesn't soak water and not so high so it doesn't burn. So medium heat is perfect. At this point I'm going to now cover it with foil paper and let the steam do the remaining part of the job. Cover it with foil paper and let it steam cook for another 15 to 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, look at that. I'm just going to fluff out the rice. You can see it's not sticky at all. It looks very good. It looks very good, guys. So now it's time to fry the veggies. <laughs> so now I'm going to add the remaining butter into a pan. And then I'll add oil. Let's say use about four cooking spoons of oil. So I'm going to stir it around until it dissolves. Then I'll add in some fresh rosemary and thyme and fry it for about a minute or two.
at this point i tasted for seasoning to adjust anything that needs to be adjusted now so i'm going to add a bit of all-purpose seasoning and then cover it and let it cook for five minutes So five minutes later, I went to check on the veggies and yes, it was ready. I'm going to just stir everything together one last time and taste to make sure everything was hitting the right note and yes, it was perfect. So I'm going to pour it over the rice and then continue to stir fry on low heat until everything is properly combined and every single grain of that rice have gotten a portion of that delicious sauce <laughs> from the veggie. So I'm going to stir fry on very low heat for five to seven minutes and that's it, it's ready. You guys this rice was so good every single thing on this rice was still crunchy the veggies everything the rice was not soggy it was perfect if you watch till this point and you're not yet subscribed why not join the family click the subscribe button hit the one that says all notification that way you'll be the first to know anytime i upload a new video and it is free of charge they don't charge you for it it only gives you notification anytime i upload a video thank you so much to all my returning subscribers i love you all and god bless you guys bye